Hi, so today is the morning of July 15th. It's the third day of our, our really long trip, road trip. Uh, I got up early, 7 something a.m. I haven't slept a lot, but last night I slept really early. Um, and I woke up at the middle of the night and didn't really sleep uh, after that. But I feel good, rejuvenated, and ready to go. Um, so we're about halfway between Los Angeles and uh, Pittsburgh. We're taking a long route. We're outside of Fort Worth, uh, Texas. So we're about halfway through Texas too. And uh, we're not going to go to the southern parts. Uh, today we're going to go see uh, Fort Worth and uh, Dallas a little bit and then get on the road. Uh, a lot of friends and... Uh, friends most of your friends are um, watching this thank you and uh, showing support uh, it is it seems a little crazy to do this at this time of the of the of my life <laughs> because of the coronavirus it is a little crazy but I want to assure everybody that we are well prepared and uh, well first and foremost I don't recommend anybody else doing anything like this everybody should stay safe there is um we didn't come out here for vacation it's a road trip but it's not a real vacation it's sort of like a training session for my kids i was first wanted to do that then my wife got involved and then she joined along and then she was concerned about safety i want to thank her because she is very important to our trip and uh, she's been very helpful in driving i don't think I could have done it. Uh, I probably could have done it, but not as well. Anyhow, um, uh, thank you. And uh, also, fortunately, we got some time to connect. Well, just not the same way at home. You know, we we couldn't have a friendly conversation. Not that we're not friendly or anything, but just like ch chit chatting. We don't have time for that. We just normal routine in life and trying to get things done. But on the road trip, um, as we were driving from Arizona to New Mexico uh, at night, the kids were asleep in the back and uh, she was driving. We had a pretty good conversation, just casual, uh, nothing specific, but nothing else we wouldn't say, but you know, just have the time to talk. But that was very helpful and I think, I think we are built, we're doing a little bit of team building in the family and the uh, kids are getting you know to be um, they're growing up so they then they're learning how to conduct themselves how to be uh, a part of the team uh, we do we brought plenty of uh, masks uh, gloves and uh, sanitation uh, you name it and then we're stopping minimally at uh, at a place um, so this is our only stop on our way over to Pittsburgh. There's this uh, hotel where they say they're performing the most uh, preventative measure for the virus. And uh, last yesterday I was really, really beat up. Uh, now I feel better, but I, I'm also aware that when, when you get tired, your immune system gets really compromised. But fortunately, um, because of this COVID going on, everybody's uh, so cautious, more cautious than usual. So other disease, infective disease are not, uh, they don't stand a chance uh, with this, this kind of uh, uh, prevention. So we have the masks, we have gloves, we exercise caution, we, we brought a lot of food for ourselves. We don't eat out a lot. And uh, I also am brought this nasal spray that's developed by my uh, friend, um, Professor Sito of UCSF. I'm just trying it out. I've been using it for a while and so far it's good. I haven't gotten sick, right? So 100% effective. <laughs> anyway, so you just spray it. It's kind of, it feels kind of weird if you haven't used a nasal spray, but uh, it forms a protective layer. Uh, sort of like your mucus, but you know, sometimes it's not, you don't, you don't get mucus. You just gotta shake it and spray it. And try to, try to keep them in. So on top of that, uh, that's sort of gonna trap the small stuff before they enter you. 
Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you for following uh, this thing. I'm doing this mostly just as a journal. No, nobody to. Well, I don't have the time to write a journal anymore, especially you know with all the driving and everything. So uh, this is my travel journal, and thank you for following. And um, don't do what we're doing. Um, do what you need to do, and uh, live not in fear but live safely uh, that's I'm not trying to prove a point that no no point trying to no, not to try to not trying to prove anything um, you need to be careful everybody you need to do what's right for you and your family and um, I figure that this is very important for my kids to grow and um, just happened that you know my wife and I also had some growing um, through this trip uh, hopefully this is gonna continue and uh, after the trip we'll have something not have something but you know have some good experience um, this is not a vacation this is not for like fun and uh, picture taking photography or anything I still brought my cameras brought a couple cameras here so just in case I don't leave anything, you know, regretful. But we're not joining any, going to any museums. We're not, uh, we're sightseeing just in the car, just drive by. And then we're not going to congregate with anybody else um, minimally. Just try to pick up food and eat by ourselves and uh, find a safe hotel to stay at and try not to do anything um, other than just making the trip itself people usually travel like that and i think it's a shame i think people sort of miss out on other people from other places but right now this is the case and uh, it's perfect for that um, at least for us so everybody else stay home and uh, i'd like to thank you again and for watching me that's all uh, i will keep everybody updated uh, the next leg of the trip will go through quite a few states and uh, that's it yeah just keep following this journal <laughs> thank you bye for now